without further ado, I want you to give it up for yet another of Boise's funniest person finalist. Give it up for Brett Kennedy. <laughs> Good. How's everybody doing? Pretty good. Yeah. I just came in from. Uh, I just came right from the airport straight here. It's crazy. And there was a guy on my plane that asked the stewardess if smoking was allowed on the plane. <laughs> smoking cigarettes. Are you fucking kidding me? It's unbelievable. And that was, that was weird. It was really a weird thing. He would have been better off asking if he could masturbate while holding a bomb. I would have been like, that's, that's an understandable question. I'm not exactly sure the answer. <laughs> Smoking, definitely not. Smoking, definitely not. I enjoyed uh, going through airport security. That's always fun. There's a new machine now. Metal detectors are out. I don't know if anyone's flown here recently, but now it's the body scanning machine. You get in the machine and then you, you form the uh, Y in the YMCA song. You do that and then it makes your body transparent so you can't see, you can see if there's any bombs uh, under your clothes. And I'm confused as to why they make your arms go up in the air. I would think if you could make your body transparent, they could probably detect if you have grenades pits. That's, that's probably a flaw. That's a, that's a design flaw. I uh, was away this weekend. I realized I can't do drugs. I can't. My body's not built for drugs ever. I never did drugs. I can't do it. And I know you're thinking, well, what kind of drugs do you do? I didn't do any drugs. All I did was I took my watch that I wear on my left hand and I put it on my right hand. And that fucked up my day. I was like, holy shit, my right hand's so heavy. My left one's so light. I couldn't even pick up my arm to tell what time it was. I was like, I can't, I can't figure this out. It was, I was like, man, I'm gonna skip mushrooms. I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna skip mushrooms, just stick with Coors Light. I saw the, uh, I was, while I was away, I read the, the local news here. I saw a lady crash her car through the dollar store. Did you see that? I was like, that's, a, that's an accident I could get into. I could definitely, anytime you could crash through the front of a store and you only owe like $36 in damages. <laughs> you just crash, throw two 20s on the counter and walk the fuck away. I'm out. I'm out. Any single people here? We're, we're the single. <laughs> couples, all right, that's cool. It's cool. You guys on Tinder? Yeah, like, yeah Tinder. <laughs> Actually, like, fuck like, yeah. <laughs> Thought I recognized you. Um, people say Tinder's horrible. They're like, oh, it's so superficial. It's all about looks. I was like, ah, that's, that's how I, I pretty much Tinder my entire life. Everything I do is Tinder. I go to the store, I pick out apples. I'm tendering that apple. I'm looking for the best apple. I go buy a car. Why don't I buy this one versus that one? I like the way this one looks. I don't care what's under the hood. I don't care if it's crazy. <laughs> Today when I was on my flight, I tendered. I sat down. These people came on board. I'm like, no. no. That one has Ebola. Yes, I want you to sit next to me. <laughs> Tinder. I didn't. Uh, I did fly here. I don't think I have Ebola yet. I do have a little sore throat. I don't know what the symptoms are. I'm not sure. I uh, do have a sore throat. Uh, I'm not really too. I'm not. Big, I'm not scared about Ebola really. Uh, at the airport, I did get Ebola. Ebola. Ebola fruit. Which is equally as fucking scary. You order, you get fruit at an airport. Good luck. You're probably gonna get something bad, like AIDS. Um, but I'm not scared about Ebola because it's not a statistic threat to me. All right, and I'll I'll tell you why. Uh, last year, uh, 13 people died from vending machines tipping over on them. 13. The vending machine tipped over, killed a person. 13 times. <laughs> 25 times someone jumped out of a plane with a parachute and the parachute was like, yeah, I'm not going to work today. And they just hit the earth. And then the other big threat is the fucking uh, 
What's the other one? Furniture. 30 people died last year from their own furniture tipping over on them. 30 people. I'm not scared about Ebola. I'm scared about gravity. <laughs> gravity can fuck our lives up. I'm also scared about uh, gas prices. Can, is anyone else here concerned when they go to the gas station? <laughs> like, I don't know if I can afford this right now. I might, I might bounce my check account doing this. Gas prices are crazy. We need to think of other resources to fill our cars with. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying we just need to do alternative fuels. And what's the one thing we have in America more than any other country? We, ranch dressing. Um, we're going to go there, sir. We're going to go there. We, we have male prisoners. And what do male prisoners have other than poor life decision skills? Ranch dressing. Semen. They have semen. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying let's just, let's just figure out an engine that runs on semen. I don't, I don't care if it's the Chevy semen. I don't care if it's the Ford Fleshlight. I don't care if it's the Cadillac ball sack. I'm just saying we have all these male prisoners. Let's, let's get them to cut down on gang rapes, throw it in a bucket, and you got, uh, I don't know, I haven't worked it out really yet. Uh, how, uh, the logistics of it, I haven't figured out the logistics, but all I'm saying is, ladies, now you have a new reason not to sleep with your uh, husband, you can say, honey, honey, I'm, we're not gonna, you gotta save yours. We're driving to Sun Valley next weekend. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Brett Kennedy, thanks so much, have a good night. Keep it going for Brett Kennedy, folks.